Welcome to a new video on the Story Dose channel. I hope you enjoy it. Before we start, I hope you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with our latest videos. Hello, I'm Khalid, and this is a true story that happened to my elder sister. My sister's story began when she and her husband were blessed with a child named Ghassan. Ghassan became everything to them, and they were extremely happy with his arrival because he was born after waiting for five years to have a child. From the moment of his birth, Ghassan was excessively pampered by his parents, they fulfilled his every demand, and over the years, he grew accustomed to getting whatever he wanted. He received constant attention from his parents throughout the day. If you saw him from afar, you would imagine him as a king with his parents as servants catering to his every whim. But all of this was about to change with the news of my sister's pregnancy with twins. They were overjoyed because my sister and her husband loved the idea of having more children. Indeed, my sister gave birth to twins, and everything seemed fine. However, taking care of three children at once was challenging for my sister, so her husband decided to hire a maid to assist her. Strangely, my sister was not comfortable with the maid, and was very suspicious and fearful of her for reasons unknown. Hence, she prohibited her from interfering in her children's affairs and assigned her only household duties. Things continued like this until the tragic day arrived. Normally, my sister would wake up every dawn to feed her twins. She did the same on that fateful day. However, one of the twins didn't wake up, which was a first-time occurrence. She breastfed the first twin until he fell asleep again, intending to do the same for the second twin who hadn't woken up. She tried to wake him up again, but to no avail. The situation was strange, and my sister began to panic. She quickly went to her husband and woke him up, telling him that one of the twins wouldn't wake up. Her husband tried to wake the baby but failed. They were terrified, but they thought he might be ill with a fever. So they rushed him to the hospital. After the doctor examined the baby, they were shocked when he said, Unfortunately, your child has passed away. Despite her husband's attempts to calm her down, the shock worsened when the doctor informed them that their child didn't die naturally. He was murdered. Immediately upon hearing the word murdered, they suspected the maid. They filed a report with the police, leading to her arrest. The police found it suspicious that the maid cried and denied any involvement in the baby's death. They considered it normal behavior to evade the crime she committed. Despite a week of investigations, the maid still didn't confess to the crime. The police were determined to extract a confession from her. However, a shocking event occurred at my sister's house after the tragic incident. My sister started sleeping with the second twin, Gasan, beside her in the same bed out of fear for their safety. But one day, she woke up to a horrific sight. Gasan attempting to suffocate the baby with a pillow. It was a terrifying moment for my sister and she froze in place. When Ghassan noticed his mother was a walkie, he fled from the room. My sister woke up her husband and told him everything, revealing that Ghassan was the one who killed the first twin and attempted to kill the second. Fortunately, they managed to save him just in time. Perhaps you're wondering why a six-year-old would commit such a heinous crime. It's because Ghassan grew accustomed to indulgence and excessive attention from his parents for six years. This led to psychological issues, making him believe that his siblings were the reason his parents paid less attention to him. His jealousy reached an extreme level, resembling a mental illness. My sister and her husband, upon learning the truth, went to the police and released the maid from prison, apologizing to her. In return, Gossen was admitted to a psychiatric hospital for rehabilitation. And that concludes the story. I hope you found it intriguing. Please share in the comments what lessons you derived from the story. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.